Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing a top 10 survivor list that has been in very high demand. But I am the only YouTuber with enough courage to actually make it. The top 10 bod survivor players. And let's just get straight into it. Honorable mentions, Jackson the Fox. Now, I was debating putting Jackson on this list because he has a cool last name. But unfortunately, I couldn't because we only saw him play for like a day because Jeff is very anti-gay people and told him to leave or he would kill him. Another honorable mention is this guy. I don't know who he is, but he is indeed bald. And the last honorable mention is Zane. Now, I was planning to put Zane in like the top five of this list, but as you can see, he is not bald. Okay. Now it's time to get into the top 10. Number 10, War Dog from Edge of Extinction. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but the reason his name is War Dog is because Jeff needed one more person for the cast, but could not find anybody to play. So he used some witchcraft on his dog and turned him into a bald person. But unfortunately, they put anti-canine oil on the parchments and he got voted out. Number 9, Russell Hint. Now, I'm not gay, but if you refuse some snuggle time with Russell, you might just be. This man may be the most handsome man in all of existence. And the only reason he is bald is because his face is so smoking hot, his hair literally burned off. Number 8. Joe from Heroes vs. Villains vs. Hustlers. Now, I have a friend named Joe, and he is very cool. And the president is named Joe, and he is very well-spoken. So obviously, we can tell that Joe here is a very cool and well-spoken person. Now, the only reason Joe isn't higher on the list is because he committed very big racism and idled out a black man. Detroit, all about, baby. Number 7, Mike from 42. I know, I know, 42, more like 42. Two. But like, Mike is a pretty swag person, and anyone who disagrees is a mega goofy goober. And, if you think about it, there are two other people named Mike who won. So, statistically speaking, he should have won, and the jury was just wrong. Number 6, Ace from Gabon. Now, Gabon was a very big train wreck of a season, with players like Sugar, Randy, Crystal, but the bald beauty Ace was actually trying to play the game, and he even has a British accent, which is pretty swag. But unfortunately, I couldn't put him in the top five because he didn't say bottle of water. Now, my number five pick might be a controversial take, but I have Abraham, from Survivor 41. Firstly, he shares a name with a president who can't lie, so you know you can trust this man. Secondly, he has the biggest forehead I have ever seen. And lastly, the only reason he was the first boot of the season is because his tribe was a mega racist. Rest in peace, Abraham. Wait, what? Oh, it's the president who's dead? Oh, never mind. At number four, we have Rupert Baldy McBalderson. This man is the most bald person in all of existence. Not only has he no hair on the top of his head, he also doesn't have a single strand of hair on his neck either. And he is very stylish. He is the fashion icon of every hobo on earth. Number three, Tom Laidlaw. This man is my favorite football player to ever exist. I loved watching him catch the birdie and throwing it into the pins for a strike. Very swag, but unfortunately, he cannot be the best player on his season because that title goes to Dan. At number two, we have Philip Shepard. And Philip Shepard is the most serious and very cool guy to ever play Survivor. Every time he told someone that he was with the special services, they got very scared. It was like, oh my gosh, is he going to shoot me in the head right now? And the only reason he lost his season was because of utter racism. And the number one best bald player to ever exist is Bruce Perriot. 
On his first season, Jeff tries to commit absolute manslaughter, but Bruce's like, nah, -uh, you can't do that, and he leaves, and then comes back on the next season, and absolutely dominates the entire game, or rather he would have if Kator didn't commit so much black-on-black -black crime. Well, that's gonna be the end of this video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Peace.